In this video, I'm going to take you along on the St. Nicholas Abbey Heritage Railway Tour, an exciting family attraction now part of St. Nicholas Abbey Great House Plantation and Distillery. A steam locomotive journey through the plantation fields and mahogany woods culminating with the expansive highland view of the east coast of the island from Cherry Tree Hill. St. Nicholas Abbey houses a saved and restored locomotive from a sugar plantation in Java in 2009. The Hyper No. 5 was built in 1914 by Arnold Jung Locomotive Fabric in Germany and is a powerful articulated locomotive of the mallet design having four steam cylinders driving eight wheels. This steam locomotive was acquired from Staffold Barn Railway and Engineering in the United Kingdom. The train has three carriages with a capacity of 32 passengers each. Right now I'm at St. Nicholas Abbey, the oldest plantation on the island. Come along. We're going to kickstart our tour with a steam train ride. It'll be 45 minutes long. As we're going to make things this obvious, ladies and gentlemen, the white building, two your direct left, that supports our great host. 370 years of history on our great host. It is one of three remaining Jacob B. or some would say Jacob White to Stella Mansions left in the English speaking record of the We have another one here in Barbados at the Drop Saw Plantation that supports our Drop Saw in St. George. And the final one is actually in Virginia, in the United States of America, at what is known as the Big Castle. So to your right, my Mystic Shark, Snappy, Snappy Turtles, are simply here on the air. We all have a family of mallard ducks, mohens, and the artificial black belly whistling duck that want to take a swim. And they're here to take the time. And they can set to be made about one million to two million gallons of water. Now the Abbey, 400 acres in total land mass, first found in way back in 1650. The first family here at the Abbey, the Berenger family, is the plantation's first name, the Berenger Plantation. So you own Greenland next door and he wanted to own this Abbey as well, this plantation, so therefore he poisoned the Berenger in Spike Stone in 1661. Berenger would of course subsequently pass away and 10 weeks after Yeaman poisoned Berenger, Yeaman married Berenger's ex-wife, then he fled to North Carolina. It is in North Carolina, however, where Yeaman would then be knighted Sir John Yeaman by King Charles II. He would then be named one of North Carolina's first governors by 1672. And by 1674, ladies and gentlemen, he would actually pass away from grave illness. The granddaughter of Berenger, here with Barbados, would take control of the plantation, getting it back for the Berenger family. However, she'd actually change the plantation's name to St. Nicholas Abbey. And she changed it.
three inches. My name is Elvis O'Neill. Okay, and you're the train driver of this team train. No, I am the fireman today, but my job is really the track engineer. Okay. I'm who actually build the train track. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. How long have you been working on the, um, on the plantation? No, you could, you could say on the train track. On it's the train track. It's okay. actually five years. Five years? Yeah. When did you build the track? This, this track actually built back in 2017, 18. But we officially opened in 2019, March 2019. That's the official opening where we, where we brought in this same Jepper, the same steam engine we're using right now. Where was the train brought from? Um, the New Jersey, but it was, took, it was, um, it was uh, in a museum in England. Okay. So, so we, we, then we bought it from them, then, then we rebuild it, and then they sent it down. How long did it take to rebuild? Um, probably it took a couple of months to rebuild. Okay. And how, how many passengers do you receive a day? It depends on the full train. Right now with the COVID, we did cut back to up maybe 60, 20 a coat. Just because of COVID. I see. But this usually can carry up to 120. Okay. We can actually like 35 a coat. Okay. Right. So probably we will start that back up. Just as the season starts. Alright, take a pull now. Anyway, uh, the engine was spent its working life in central Java, Indonesia, all in sugar, as I said, and then it was retired in the 1990s and rescued by some British steam enthusiasts, you know, they're all steam crazy up there. And uh, they brought it back to Stackpole Barn in uh, Tamworth, Staffordshire, and it sat in a museum for 20 years, basically what you call a static display. Now, what does that mean? It was a pile of junk in the corner of the museum. Now, luckily, they never restored it, so they gladly sold it to us. And they did. And they did, and they did, and they did, and they did a fantastic job restoring it. Anyway, you all like you, so that's not a problem. You'll think I have stutters. Anyway, let's um, let's go down here by the railway map. I want to give you guys some history about the old Barbados Railway. How about that? Yes. Good. So let's start with a little context. Where are we right now in Barbados? That's right, Cherry Tree Hill. Where is Cherry Tree Hill? In the northeast of the island, right here on the map. We are at the summit of Cherry Tree Hill. Now this is one of the higher points in the island. The higher... <laughs> the highest point in Barbados can clearly be seen from here. You see the dark ridge over there? That is Mount Killaby, 1104 feet above sea level. Now, collectively this area is known as the Scotland District. It's characterized by its steep craggy hills and unusual geology. You see, Barbados is a coral stone island. And let me give you all a close in. You all like what sandy beaches, right? We can agree on that. Where do you get the nicest 
the whiteness sand in your speeches, the coral still on either. You see parrotfish eat the coral. What comes up the other end is a post for a perfect beach. Sorry to give you that mental limit, but it is what it is. Now Barbados, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, the Cayman Islands. What about you? Where, where's Bermuda? Bermuda's a coral stone island, okay. So these are some of your choices. Now Barbados is kind of unique. We do have our beautiful white sandy beaches, but the east coast, the east coast, we're looking at the underlying rock. You see this hill here that it drops down suddenly? We are standing on the edge of the coral stone cap. So this is all an ancient fossilized reef. Now these lovely ladies in the middle here, you all had a few more pennies to rub together. Second class, I'm sorry, and this gentleman, this fine gentleman. Second class welcome aboard. On my left, the preserve of the privilege of the few. First class, thank you for gracing us with your presence. A train for everybody. Now the train is stuck. First class, you have all the right answers. What do you think we should do? I think he knows. What do you think we should do? <laughs> now he's saying get rid of some of the people. No, 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 no. But he's, you see, he's using what I told him. We're too heavy to get up the hill. So who's going to get off the train? Well, well, well. Now, if we get rid of third class, I don't think it's fair that, you know, we, we, we should, we, second class, what can you do to help these good hard working people? Is there anything you can do? Well, oh, you're very kind and obliging. <laughs> you know your ticket costs more, right? But she's being very nice, but I don't think that's what really happened. All right, let me cut to the chase, because we'll be here all day. <laughs> the train will be made a lot lighter when they get out, but it's still going to be stuck. They told me at the beginning of when I asked the question that, this, that they wanted to push the train. Third class, thank you for volunteering. How kind of you. Now listen, listen, listen. Don't riot and don't chop off my head yet. Because you know there's that old expression, many hands make light work. Second class, what can you do to help these good hard working people know she says she won't help push? Okay, what's that? You all here complaining? They say they have important places to go and they will not tolerate any further delays. My humblest apologies, first class. My humblest. What could we offer you that would soothe your tattered nerves? <laughs> you want it right out the barrel or mixed with punch and ice? A little nutmeg on top? A little cocktail umbrella? Oh my, it sounds lovely. Can you imagine the gall of it? While we push this big stinking train up the hill, they're getting a cool, refreshing beverage. First class, I beg you a favor. You have a hundred gallons of spirit. Would you consider sharing some of it with us when we get to the top of the hill as a token of gratitude? Absolutely not. <laughs> you know, I like to think that back then people had a bit more decorum than what we get to the first class. But I, I pretend she said, yes! Once a few drinks line and they're having a share, trust me. So thank you, first class. You're so kind. No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm being, I'm being generous. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I want to leave you with another point. How many of you ever catch bus in Barbados? Any of you ever catch bus? Me? Mini bus? Is that our big Okay, okay a lot on the point of view. Yeah. Do we always use bus stops in Barbados? No. no. Can you kindly demonstrate for our passengers how you go about catching bus? You see that? <laughs> Elvis has allowed me to catch the train ride from the front, huh? so I get a good view of the train driver. Oh, it runs on coal. Oh yes, yeah, of course. Sure okay. You know which has a ring of tree, which is my tree. They call it my tree. It's the only one out there with a small leaf at the top. Okay. It's all along the tree. They call it my tree, but it's a Catherine tree farm. It's up from Australia. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, mahogany. This is this tree here. Oh, these trees here are mahogany. Okay. Right. Now, this coal, this comes from America. We import that. Yeah. Oh, that must be expensive, though. Yeah, we bring in by 42 containers. How often do you get your coal shipment? Is it monthly? Not monthly. We do this like every couple of months. Okay. So my girl, she got her. She's gonna, she's gonna use some. Okay, no problem. So yeah, you were, you were asking, you know more about. Okay. And we are professional water boilers. Oh, professional water boiler. And in its most basic stripped down form, but you have to a lot of things to be aware of. 
I think Pai showed you the water glass, the, or the water level gauge. Now that's important because we must maintain a certain level of water in the boiler for our safety. Okay. There's too little water and you won't find our boots. So where's the boiler? This entire thing you see here is the boiler. Oh. Now this is the firebox. Now that firebox is suspended in the water by steam. So if you can imagine, it's, it's like a cube of fire which is boiling the water around it. Okay. And then the little holes you see at the back, I don't know if you can pick them up, those are called flues. They increase the surface area of the firebox and draw the fire and the heat up through to the chimney. Wow. So that's where you get that black smoke that everyone associates with a steam. I didn't quite get what you called the holes. What did you call them again? Flues, boiler flues. Oh, okay. okay. Or boiler tubes, some people call them. I see. Fire tubes, there are many other names for them. Okay. Uh, it transfers the heat, the chemical energy of the fire. It's the heat energy when we burn it, and then that transfers into steam pressure, and then the cylinders transfer that into mechanical energy, which makes us go forward. Okay. All right. Awesome. Right right. Awesome. Built where? 
มาที่เรือไรได้ไหมขอสอบพ่อโอเคมีความขอสอบขอสอบสอบสอบมีความสอบสอบ Do they still use them to this day? Or they stop? Not really. And some, 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 and So we do like white shape, like long. Uh huh. White water, like for the arms, glass right. And then you put some. This is the wooden. I take them out so you get the look of it. Like white water. Okay. Like, like stones again. Wow. Stuck in the rock. Of course. Stuck in the rock. Wow. Oh, this is the reef. Oh, why do you think they call it coral reef? Coral. Oh, they say coral stone. We're gonna show you a lovely different, different type, different type of coral stone. That's right. So imagine we're passing through what was once a tropical reef. Wow. At the end of here. Ah. If you want a piece of tape, I'll be doing okay. Sorry. If you want a little piece of tape, I'll be doing okay. Um, oh, okay. I will. I will get some. Thank you. So this area, I don't know if he told you on the train, is called Forrest Alley. Okay. Don't ask me why, but that's how it's been recorded on the map. I see. I guess not there, but it's not working for the next one. You notice it? Oh! That's a very good seal of it. This is what we call a car stone. Oh, look here, very quickly. Look here, look here. What are you talking about? What? Is that the car? That's the pretty coral. Oh, coral. Okay, okay. Okay. That's what I want to say. Coral. Coral. It crumbles easily. It's quite soft. Like a nice stone. Oh! When you go in the uh, if you get a chance to look on the you see that stuff. Oh, yeah! It's coming to some, you get some dark like this, you get some a little white. Okay. Uh, these are the cherry trees from which this is getting made. Uh-huh. But the problem is that you never get any cherries because they must be kept. Oh, yeah. They take over, don't they? No, the good stuff. <laughs> Over the point, so they can get my rope to go back to the fish. Oh, I see, okay. So if you look for the right there, you're going to what I call a point. Uh-huh. Take a white handle, you put a flip-flop, and that's going to allow us to change track. Okay. So are you going to go around that way? Well, it's here. We're gonna, when we come back around, we won't be going back up the hill, we'll be coming this way, correct? I see, okay. So, effectively, this is all done um, electronically on modern railways, but this is how they used to do it on the Barbados Railway. Oh. So, there you go. One flick. That's how you steer a train. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. All right. So this tree here on my right, the cover is like, it's called the silk cotton tree. Okay. And they grow massive. And they're one of the indigenous species to this island. Okay. I call it the monkey poop tree. Monkey what? Monkey poop tree. Oh really? Why? <laughs> Look at it, it's covered in barbarous spines. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to, I mean, they're not, they're not going to try to claim that. <laughs> <laughs> it really is fresh left. So a couple of the trees on our left, we have the bread nut tree, which is very related to the bread tree, and they came from the feeding. 
Watching this video, I think you can agree with me in that Beijing tour guides go out of their way above and beyond to make tourists happy and keep them well informed. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this has been entertaining as well as informative. See you in the next one.